Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In this video, I will tell you about mold tooling with non-planar parting lines. In that case, I have opened a file of receiver in my SolidWorks environment, and at the first step after opening the file, we have to enable the mold tools toolbar. In that case, simply move to above the toolbar. From the graphics uh, area and simply right click anywhere in this side and then move to the tabs and under the tabs click the mold tools and then you will see the mold toolbar is enabled. After enabling the mold toolbar, you have to scale up your model to accommodate the mold shrinkage and also apply the draft angle of all the features of the model and then finally move to the next step that is creating the parting lines. So in this particular example I have already applied the scaling as well as the draft handles. Okay now let's move to the next step that is how you can create the parting line. For creating the parting line simply move to the mold tools tab and under the mold tools tab click the parting lines button after clicking on it parting line window is open up and then under the mold parameter select the front plane and after selecting the front plane click this draft analysis button and enter the draft angle of 1 degree Parting lines actually lie along the edges of the mold part as shown here in magenta color between the core and cavity surfaces. So they are actually used to create the parting surfaces and to separate the two mold halves. That's the reason we are creating the parting line. After that, simply click this OK button to check the parting lines and this green surface of the mold indicate the positive draft surface and the red surface is indicating the negative draft surface on the tore half and the green surface is actually showing the positive draft surface on the cavity half and then simply click ok then you will see the parting line is added ok after creating the parting line the next step we have to create the shut off surfaces for creating the shut off surfaces, simply click this shut off surface button and you will see SOLIDWORKS automatically select all the edges that form a continuous loop or a parting line you previously created to define a loop. And after that, you see there is some minor issue in this edges so simply uncheck these non-symmetric element okay everything's fine and you will see the message the mold is separate able into core and cavity okay make sure this knit chat box is chat and then simply click okay and here we have it the shut off surfaces. For clarity of the mold part, simply hide this surface. Okay, now we are moving towards the parting surfaces, and parting surfaces are used to separate the mold cavity from the core, and they must be created right after the shut off surfaces. And for creating the Parting surfaces move to the mold tools again and click the parting surface button and then select the perpendicular to pull icon and enter the distance of 1 inches and for smoothing select the sharp edges and the preview is updated in the graphics window and after clicking this thing simply click this OK button but make sure these two chat boxes should be checked and then click OK and here we have it the parting surface 
Okay, in the next step, we have to create a role surface that actually help to prevent the core and cavity blocks from shifting and you can add an interlock surface. It is created along a perimeter of the parting surface prior to inserting a tooling separate in a mold part. The interlock surface can be created manually or automatically but in this case as there are sudden changes in the parting surface geometry the interlock surface will need to be created manually. So simply move to the surface tab if this tab is not showing on your uh, SOLIDWORKS stream then again repeat the same step right click anywhere then click the tab and under the tab click the surface button and here we have it and after opening the surface tab click the roll surfaces and this button is also available under the mold tools here roll surface the purpose of this button on two different tab is just to minimize the step or provide the easiness so either you click here or either you click here no difference so click here roll surface and change its type perpendicular to vector and the distance is 1.5 inches and then select the front plane under the tree feature manager tree or click this front plane and change its direction to downward enter the draft angle of 5 degree and then finally select the edges rotate the model and select the previous side of the part okay make sure you select all these edges properly and make sure you have to skip these edges and then simply uncheck this trim and knit chat box button and make sure the connecting surface is checked and after that simply click this button and here we have it the roll surface now we are going to create the patches and we will use a combination of love surface and fill surface command to create the patches and fill the opening in the roll surface so in that case move to the surface tab and click the love surface just a minute move to the parting surface again and edit it and sorry move to the roll surface and also select this edge and then click ok and now move to the loaf surface and click this side and this side and then click ok and now use the fill surface to fill this gap and then again click ok now repeat the same procedure for the remaining openings ok make sure you perform this step very neatly okay okay here we have complete all the loaf surfaces and fill surfaces except this one 
in this case we have to take the help from the curves button and under the curve through reference point click on it and then click these two edges and then simply click OK and after that move to the surface tab again and click the field surface and select all these edges and here we have it finally we have completed this step for patching the all openings and next we are moving to knitting all these surfaces so indeed in that case why we are actually knitting the surfaces it's actually help us for selecting the multiple surfaces more easily and we will need it to knit all the rule surfaces and the patches surfaces together as a one surface so in that case simply click the knit surface and under the knit surface uh, you have to make the selections and for selection move to the surface bodies and under part in surface bodies select all these surface by simply pressing control shift or n all these surfaces are selected like this ok and then simply click this ok button and now we are moving towards creating a new plane for the bottom of the interlock surface is not flat as you can clearly see so we will create a plane and a planar surface is used to trim the bottom so in that case move to the reference geometry and click the plane and under the plane select the front plane for first reference and enter the distance of 0.75 and click flip offset and then simply click this ok button so a new plane have been added and now we are going towards creating a new sketch for sketch 1 select the plane 1 move to sketch tab click edit sketch and then meta rectangle and after making the rectangle apply the smart dimensions select this vertex and this vertex and enter a distance of 1.5 inches select this edge and select this edge and and a distance of again 1.5 and uh, these two vertices are at a distance of 2 inches and these two vertices are also at a distance of 2 inches so after completing the smart dimensions exit the sketch move to the surface tab and click the planar surface and you will see a planar surface is added and then simply click OK now we are moving towards trimming the bottom of the rolled surfaces in that case you have to first select the trim surface command from the surface toolbar so select the trim surface command and click the trim type to manual and select the planar surface and all the surfaces along the perimeter of the interlocked surfaces and under this side select this and this one and then simply click OK oops fine and then simply click OK and here we have it 
so you can clearly see the resulting trim surfaces by changing its orientation and you can see all these uneven surfaces are trimmed okay now we are moving towards knitting the surfaces and for knitting the surfaces select the knit surface command from the surface tool tab and expand the feature manager tree and select the surface body bodies folder and select the parting surfaces and all the surfaces that belong to the roll surfaces and surface body folder parting surfaces and the surface and the parting surfaces are now selected and then simply click this ok button fine now we are creating the tooling split stretch for creating this step move to the planar surface plane and show this stretch and then select this planar surface move to the stretch click edit stretch and then click the offset entity and select its reverse direction and the distance is 0.125 inches oops trim it again click offset entities select chain and click this reverse chat box and make sure this uh, rectangle with a gap of 0.1 to 5 should be added inside not outside and then simply click this ok button and click exit the sketch and then move to the mold tools tab and click the tooling split and here we have it now add the blot size 2.5 for the upper one and the blot distance of 1.5 for the bottom one and these four cavity and parting surfaces are automatically selected and then simply click this ok button and here we have it ok now we are moving towards separating the solid bodies for separating the solid bodies move to the insert and then features and click this move and copy button and under move copy button make sure if you have seen this panel then click this translate rotate button so that you can assess this panel and under the bodies to move select the bottom half of the tooling split and enter the distance at delta z minus 6.5 inches and then simply click ok and now repeat the same step for the upper half insert features and click the move copy command select this one and enter the distance of 6.5 inches and then again click ok and here we have it now we are going to change its transparency so that we can see it easily so simply click this and uh, okay you can do it from here under solid bodies click the move copy body move copy to command and click its right click and select change transparency and now hide these planar surfaces these sketches and the parting lines and here we have it now move to the isometric view that's all so in this video we learn how we can create a tone and cavity using the non-planar parting lines thank you